With only one week away from Election Day, WJZ's candidate profile turns to the crowded gubernatorial race. Current state comptroller Peter Francho is narrowly leading the Democratic Party. Today, Christina Mendez sat down with Maryland's chief accountant, now vying for the governor's seat. With a background in transit to finance, Peter Francho says this may be his first run at the governor's seat, but believes his experience is gaining momentum with voters. I'm an independent thinking Democrat. I'm proud of the Democratic Party. I support its principles and values, but I'm not a robot. State Comptroller Peter Francho, now after the governor's seat, says his experience would help build a more buoyant economy. Part of Francho's plan involves trying to attract a younger population to the state. If you live, work, and pay for pay taxes for five years, we'll forgive your student loan. And we're also advocating 300,000 state-backed mortgages for low-wage earners who have income but cannot afford a high-risk mortgage. The campaign is also focusing on reinforcing the educational system. This includes shoring up Blueprint for Maryland's Future Act funding. Francho proposes shrinking class sizes from 30 to 20 students, cutting standardized testing by 90 percent, and giving teachers a midweek flex day to focus on lesson planning. When the private sector comes in, philanthropic groups, not-for-profit groups, experts, business people, people that are involved in all of the aspects of the modern economy come in and have a uh, session with the kids. Another stitch in the fabric of what Francho wants Maryland's future to look like, better access to public transportation by expanding and improving rail lines in areas of the state in need. We're going to do a version of the red line. That can be something that really uh, helps uh, Trade Point Atlantic and also uh, the residents of uh, Baltimore. And uh, I intend to fully uh, move forward on that. Franchise team will be out in the community, going door to door, trying to inform voters of his vision for the state of Maryland. I'm reporting from Towson. I'm Christina Mendez for WJC.